where do I start? But seriously, where do I start this video? Long, long time ago, in April, I had a vision of a perfect snowflake maze. I looked on internet uh, what is available, I searched and I searched, and I could not find what I had in my head, the vision I had for my snowflake. And I was playing, sketching, trying, until Luke from the Luke Bowes Publishing asked me what I'm working on. And I showed him my snowflake maze attempts and that I was struggling with how to get them to be perfect. And then he casually just says, isn't that just custom shape of a triangle grid maze? And I was like, I could not believe I kept trying to make maze inside out. I never considered having a full grid and just delete the outside parts I do not need. And this happened in June. And I had a puzzle to solve. How to mask maze grid perfectly? How to have maze generator that is going to give me option to perfectly isolate each cell in the maze grid that I want to keep and that I want to remove. And I'm happy to say last month program was fully operational and today it is also working and it is in stable form on my website. It has been tested by my beta testers. Thank you all, you know who you are. And please allow me to show you the power and beauty of my new Snowflake Maze Generator. You have two versions of the program. You have Basic and Pro. And I will show you in this tutorial the differences between each and what you can do in each of the versions. When you register with your Pro license key, this is what you will have in front of you. On the right side, you have a toolbar, you have a selection. First, you have a selection between the grids. So you have square, triangle, hexagon, and circle grid. So square, triangle, and hexagon. When it comes to options, you can select width and height up to 50. And when it comes to circle, you can select the up to 30 layers. So each of the rings is considered to be one layer. Now, next selection that you have here is you can select instant mazes or show algorithm steps. So the difference between these two is this one obviously creates mazes, but this one is showing you how the maze algorithm is creating the maze. So if I go back to square so you can see, so I now have show algorithm steps selected. If I click on the new maze, it is going to show me how that algorithm is actually producing a maze. So I'm going to go back now and I'm going to click on the instant mazes. Then you have four options when it comes to entrance and exit. So you can select that there is no entrance and exit. So it is somewhere inside the maze. Then you can select that it is on bottom or top and you can select it is of course left and right and then you can select hardest entrance and exit now this doesn't necessarily mean the longest path this is literally what it's written it is the hardest entrance and exit path between the start and end so after this section here you have algorithms when it comes to algorithms of the maze, you have 10 main maze algorithms. If you want to find out more about them, there is a YouTube video explaining how each algorithm is uh, creating the maze. But for the triangle, hexagon and circle, you only have six maze algorithms used. So only square has 10 algorithms. So this is quite normal. This is nothing unusual here. Uh, I know that there are a lot of uh, there is a lot of uh, maze generators out there that is giving you option to create square, triangle, hexagon, and circle mazes. But what is unique of my uh, software here, of my program here, is that you can create mask. So you can create mask and not just any kind of mask. You can perfectly isolate each cell in the maze grid that you want to keep and also that you want to remove. So if I click on the create mask, of course, if I'm happy with everything, I can make different width, for example. I'm going to click on create mask and now I'm in the mask editor 
and let's say I want to create um, I don't know maybe a, a monster let's see can I make a monster and these are legs and this is a head okay so I created this cute little monster so everything that is shaded is not going to be part of the maze so if now I click on the save mask and exit this is no longer part of the maze and if I click on the new maze it is going to generate the maze but it is going to avoid this section here that I deleted in the mask editor so if I go back and if I click bottom to top and click new maze you see now bottom to top and if I want to see how the solution is going so this is now the solution path so that is how you would create a maze with your unique masking. Now, if you have Pro version, you can do this and you can also save this. If you have basic version, you will not be able to create the mask. So let me go back and show you. This is right, right now a Pro version. So if I go down and if I'm happy with how this looks like, I can actually save it under module and I'm going to make it human. So I'm going to save it. So this is now my module saved. So if I log out and log back in, in a month or a week or whatever, because the, li uh, the licenses are lifetime licenses when you purchase the pro version or basic, of course, whenever you log in, you will have this saved uh, module of your mask here in your list here. And if you click on that, it's going to load that uh, module and also because the name of this generator is a snowflake mesh generator you have 11 pre-set pre-created masks that are creating snowflake shaped mazes so i'm just going to click on this one so you can see so this is the first one so this is the first maze and let me click on another one this one so each of these are different if the width and height is over 35 40 so you are getting closer to the maximum number of 50 it's going to take him slightly longer to load the module as you just saw now but it is okay so let's click on the new maze and let's show solution so this is now my maze in the shape of a snowflake so if you have basic version you will have all of these 11 pre-made shapes so you will have this the only thing that you cannot do in basic version is you cannot edit and save your own of, and of course you cannot create your mask if you have pro version you can save your mask and you can create mask of the maze and you can do that in any grid so that is it is not just square triangle hexagon or circle you can use any grid create mask and then you just click on what you do not want to be part of the maze and also i would like to point out here no you cannot upload the png file something like that this is created so you can precisely set what is going to be maze path and whatnot so this is about precision i want to have a control of each cell that i want or I do not want to be part of my maze. So let's say I want my maze to look like this and I'm going to click on the save mask and I'm going to click on the new maze and this is my maze now. When it comes to circle maze, the entrance is always somewhere on the outside and the exit or opposite. This is entrance and this is exit. So it is always in the center when it comes to circle maze. Here on in this section where you are creating the mazes, you can change the solution color. With this, you can select anything, any color that you have on your monitor. You can uh, pick that. Of course, you can also type. You can type the value here if you want to have preci uh, precise value of the solution color. And same goes for the wall color. 
Now, what if you want to download your maze? What if you are happy with everything and you want to download your mazes? So this is following the same logic as my Weave generator. First, you need to download mazes and then you need to download solutions. So let's say I want to download 100 of these. So I type the number here. Uh, I would not recommend that you go over 200, 300 mazes, not because there is something wrong with the software, but because you could lose internet connection, you could have some glitch of whatever, and uh, when you are downloading 300 mazes, you need to remember that you need to also download 300 solutions, so that is 600 files, and there is a high chance that something is going to go wrong with your internet connection, so I recommend that instead of downloading 300 mazes at once, you download 100, 100, 100 in batches to make sure that you have, uh, you have a good batch saved on your computer. So the first thing, I have a maze and I click on download. And then the next thing I need to do is click on the show solution and click on download again. So I need to download two times, third time, first time I'm downloading mazes and the second time I'm downloading solutions. Okay, so when it comes to this one here, distance map, now I'm not sure is this something that is going to be of interest to you, but this is something that uh, I kept here for covers. If I want to use this colorful uh, distribution of the maze cells between the entrance point and the exit because this one is changing the gradient of the color depending on how far it is from the entrance or the exit point. So the entrance point is always the brightest green and the furthest point in the maze that can be reached is in high red, in bright red color. So if I select this one to be the starting point, this is going to be now green and now the furthest point I can reach is now this section here. If I select here, this is now the furthest point I can reach. So that is how I can play with the colors. Everything that you download is, of course, in SVG file format. So it is a vector. It is editable in any vector editing program. So that means Adobe Illustrator, Inkscape, even PowerPoint. You can edit the mazes that you download. So this is uh, the color distribution. If you don't like this, if you don't want this, you don't have to use this. So we can go back. And now to one interesting feature that is also available in basic and in pro version. And I'm going to switch to my camera to actually show you this. So if you go to the website on your phone or on your tablet, of course, all the options and settings, you can set them here just as you would on your computer. You can also edit mazes on your phone, same as you would on your computer, but also something that you can do here. And this is also a feature for your kids, for your nephews as well. So click on the new maze. So now you have a new maze and click on play. And now you can use your fingers to actually try to solve the maze. So let's try solving the maze. Once you click, it's going to take you to the furthest path along that direction. And let's see, am I going to be able to solve? Yes, so once I solve the maze, it's going to give me my time. It's going to tell me how many cells I visit and was that the optimal route? So was that the best route to reach from start to finish? And this works on any grid. So if I go back and I select, for example, hexagon grid, select new maze, select play, and I can also play any grid and any shape. Even if you create a masked version of the maze, you can also play that here. So let me just stop this and go back so I can show you one of the mask versions. So let's say this one, as you can see, it is loading module. Now I'm going to click on the new maze. I'm going to click on play and now as you can see, I can solve, I can try to solve the math version of the maze I created. 
so you have snowflakes here as well you can do the same on the computer with your mouse so you can solve them with your mouse or using the arrow keys on keyboard as well so i believe this is also a cool feature uh, one of the interesting features of the snowflake maze generator that you can play the maze on your phone or on your tablet as well So that is a feature of the Snowflake Maze Generator, both versions, Basic and Pro, that you can actually play the mazes you created. So if you have kids, if you have nephews, that is also an interesting feature to give them opportunity to create mazes and then solve the mazes on their phone or on their tablets. If they are on computer, what they would do is click play and now they can move with the mouse. You can also hold the shift key to get you as far away as possible to the next junction let me see am i going to be able to solve this yes and now it is telling me the finish time is under 13 seconds and i visit 18 cells while the optimal route is 16 cells and of course i can click now new maze and i can click play and i can play the maze on my computer or on my phone on my tablet as well now everything I've shown you in this video is here as well included under instructions. You have step by step guide how to create standard mazes, snowflake shape mazes and how to export and create mast mazes as well. And now the license. What can you do with the mazes you created? So when it comes to standard grid mazes, and when it comes to your own mask that you create, you have full commercial rights. When it comes to snowflake mazes, so the pre-maze 11 shapes that I created, you have publishing rights. What that means is that if you use the mazes in your book or in your printables, you just need to add this small section here, this sentence, so you need to uh, acknowledge me as a, a designer of these snowflake mazes by adding the sentence snowflake maze design by marina r design and that's it you don't have to do anything else you are free to use them you just need to attribute me with this sentence here and you are good to go and let's go back do i have anything else to show you okay so here you have those 11 mazes snowflake mazes and if you have pro version you will be able to select edit and delete modules so you can edit the name you can change the name you can delete this module and you can of course exit and go back to the main uh, window of this software and now to the pricing and i believe you all want to know what is the price of these softwares so the regular price of basic version is going to be 90 united states dollars while the pro version regular price is going to be 130 united states dollars but for the next five days over my links in description on my video so down below in the description of this video on my facebook group on my gamrod store and also through my affiliates so for the next five days you can get both versions with 50 dollars discount so that's five zero discount so basic is going to be 40 united states dollars while the pro version is going to be available for just 80 united states dollars once again i repeat this is a lifetime license this is an online access so it doesn't matter what computer you have you can even access it on your phone and because of the nature of the, this digital sale there will be no refunds so if you have any questions before you make a purchase ask me down below in the comments join my facebook group to see what else i'm creating and also you can ask me questions there if anything is unclear so i repeat one more time when it comes to difference between basic and pro in basic you cannot create mask you cannot save and edit mask that is something that you can do in the pro version in both versions you can create snowflake mazes created by me you can create square mazes triangle mazes hexagon and circle mazes you have svg export and you can also play online you can play on your phone on your tablet or on your computer 
And that's it. That's it. If you now go to Google and you search for um, Snowflake Maze, you will discover that in Dreams Time there is now my uh, store where I have uh, started selling my illustrations, vectors and clip arts. Of course, I just uploaded the mazes at the moment. Soon I will have more unique designs here. Also, they are available on Freepik as well and on Shutterstock as well. I have my own account now on all of the major stock image uh, websites. And you can also see the mazes there. So everything that you see here right now on your monitor, this was created with the Snowflake Maze Generator. So these are the 11 shapes that you will get in the basic version and also in Pro version, already pre-created for you. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have a lot of other projects I'm working on, so this is just the beginning. I hope you like this. Uh, if you did, don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. And until next video, as usual, I'll see you down below in the comments. Stay safe, everybody. Bye.